Hi everyone, you are welcome to the Online Youth Church of Uganda. My name is Rachel Tino and today we'll be going through the topic, how we can improve our prayer lives. So I'd like us to start with the basics as um, a team have been going through prayer. So we all know that prayer is communicating to God and communication is both ways. It's um, you talking and the other person speaking back. So it involves listening. It also involves talking. So how can we improve our prayer lives? The first thing that I think has improved my prayer life is one, is I really, really, really need to want to improve my prayer life. You know how quite often as people, we are drawn to people that like make an effort. Personally, I'm drawn to people that make an effort. So it's the same thing with like our relationship with God. We need to really, really want to improve it for us to be able to improve it. I don't know if you get, for me to say that I want to improve my relationship with God, I need to be intentional about it. So yes, you really need to want it. Two is um, being intentional and setting time aside for prayer. I would like us to read from Mark 1. 35 it says very early in the morning while it was still dark jesus got up left the house and went off to a solitary place where he prayed so he was intentional in regard to that time he was intentional in regard to the place he took time to go and pray and that is one way that you can improve your life and then three i think you need to spice up your prayer life um there's something I forgot to highlight I, earlier. It's prayer is like a relationship. It's like a relational thing. So like in any relationship, you need to spice things up. Personally, for me, what spices up my prayer life is doing different devotions. Uh, maybe you as an individual, like studying a book helps you or meeting random characters helps you or you um, doing studying with other people helps you. Like when you study God's word, and like couple it with things like music like worship music music that edifies god they give you like an understanding on who god is so for that reason it helps you want to learn more and more about it so you need to be also very very particular about spicing up your prayer life and then four i would say is make it a necessity um i give this example all the time there are two things i can't go without doing any day anytime that's brushing and bathing so if we decide to make prayer a necessity like we do with bathing, like we do with brushing, I believe you can improve your prayer life because the truth is when you are in a place and it's and you've not bathed or showered, you're actually aware, you tend to withdraw. So I think it's the same thing for prayer. We need to make it a necessity, make it very necessary for you to do these things. And then five, um, the last thing that is very personal to me is seeking god and praying to god not because of the things that he gives you but because of who he is you know quite often even me when i was still going my spiritual walk i remember i used to go to god when i had issues but now i've learned to seek god like from who he is understanding how sovereign he is understanding how forgiving and understanding how merciful he is and understanding all these things about god from that i am able to say that my prayer life has increased because I'm willing to talk to this person. I know that he is merciful. I'd like to give an example. Yesterday I did something that was not good. And to be honest, it reflected on my mood. Okay, I did something that was not good and I feel like it separated me from God. You know how this last sin separates us from God? So it separated me from God and my mood in the house changed. Like everyone around me noticed something was off about me. So it's from that place I feel like God is like a necessity for me. I feel like he's important for the way I behave towards others. I feel like he's important for the way I relate to others. So when I'm seeking him, I don't seek him as someone who just gives me stuff. I seek him because he's like something that I need. I don't want him, but I need him. So I think when we get to understand who God is and how sovereign he is and how beautiful, how merciful, how forgiving, how loving he is, we'll be able to speak to him and communicate with him, which is through prayer. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned a lot.